Uh, the process for a, a luxated tooth, and luxated tooth will be one that's absolutely wiggling around. So if you can push it back and forth, if they bite on it like this and you see the tooth moving, if it's hyper extruded, if it's fallen out a pulse completely, uh, we're going to uh, try to rinse out the socket. Don't touch the root. Uh, if you can during this procedure, uh, do we have that Hanks uh, tooth saver solution? We do. It's okay. uh, on the floor. Okay. So, so, uh, so as, soon as, as soon as as soon as you have a tooth like that, rinse it off with saline, and then put it in the uh, Hanks saline while you're anesthetizing and all this kind of stuff. And so it doesn't matter how long it's been. Uh, we're better off trying to put the tooth back in uh, than not. So if uh, if the patient's it's been an hour and it took them that long to get to the ED and they've got their tooth in hand, first thing you do is rinse it off, put it in a Hanks solution in the uh, tooth saver, and then get them numb, rinse out the uh, socket. This is a <coughs> two-step system. It's not uh, terribly cumbersome, but still it's, it's an extra step. Um, we can use a uh, nylon suture, okay? And all you have to do is grab it, twist it so that as long as it's doubled okay as simple as that so you can grab it with a hemostat twist or two hemostats uh, twist it on from both ends and then just uh, hold it there okay you could uh, well I, let's see let's just let's just leave it at that this is where we do need two hands though because somebody's going to have to stabilize one end of the of the suture okay so we've got the suture we know where it is We've got it laid off to the side. What we're going to do, this is, this is the, um, when we get to the one step, okay, there's a system of wells, okay, so this material, uh, there's a little bubble pack here with a little well on it. The well in the, uh, in the second system that we're going to be using is, is a two well system, so you squeeze one. It goes into the second one, you fold that over, you squeeze that into a third third well, okay? And then all you have to do is, is uh, swirl the, uh, the tip, okay? So with this, it's relatively easy here. All you do is squeeze, squeeze this and you'll hear the pop, okay? That's why they call it prompto pop, okay? And then uh, what it does is it'll squeeze the bonding material right up into this area. And then all you have to do is swirl it around about five seconds. You can leave it in there because this cures with light, and so as long as it's in the packet, you're, you're, you're in good shape, okay? You'll have the teeth. Uh, again, if we were going to, uh, uh, say for instance, they, they evolve the central incisor. Anesthetize the area, dry it off the best you can, okay? And then if I could have some help. Then what you do in this situation, what we're gonna do is we're gonna paint a little purple or blue blue material on the tooth and actually you're going to paint it on each tooth about in the middle third let that sit there for 15 seconds and that's the same as the uh, uh, other system then do we have any gauze? Again, you can take your plastic instrument, the round end, okay, and you can push it around just to make a, a nice big circle on the tooth. Again, it doesn't, it, it's not, it's not terribly critical that you're perfectly exact with this. It's just that you want to make three blue spots. Well, I can rinse this off. So you rinse this off with saline, okay? You rinse this material off, and what it does is it actually etches the, the uh, uh, enamel so that this material will bond to it, okay? After you've done that, you just, you swirl this around, you paint this on. Paint this on right where the uh, white spots are, and what you should see is uh, the enamel will get frosty white when you paint this on, it'll look wet and the frosty white goes away, okay? You can, if you like, you can 
Let's blow a little air on it just to thin it out a little bit. Simple as that. Light here. Now we're going to lay that suture across the tooth. It's hard to do this without. Okay, so I'm going to have you hold that end. Okay. Okay, and so you can passively lay that on the tooth. Take more of the material, get the suture wet, okay, and then the material that we're going to be using comes again in another little syringe, okay, and we're going to layer some of that material on there. Let's put this down just for a second. Hold it. Oh uh, yeah, hold it. So, as a demonstration, I'm going to use Fuji 2LC. Fuji 2LC, I do not think will stick to the enamel long enough. Uh, you would have to give them the famous 50-50 guarantee, which is 50 feet or 50 seconds. So then all you have to do is you will actually squirt the um, composite material and it comes out almost in exactly the same form same color as this material okay and you're going to just layer this over over the uh, suture again the material that the composite material is actually a little stiffer and a little easier to maneuver but literally, if you cover it like this, you'll be fine. Shine a light on it. We're going to add more material here. And again, the material that the composite material that you're going to be using is going to be a little bit stiffer, a little bit easier to maneuver. Oop, here we go. Add material. The third tooth is the evolved tooth. And again, you don't need a ton of material. You just need to cover cover the. Uh, Cover the suture. 